Germany is getting hit hard by the energy crisis. Here's a graphic showing their energy profile. Natural gas and oil make up over 50% of consumption, and Germany is very dependent on Russia for those resources. A third of their natural gas comes from Russian pipelines, and that gas is then used to make up 15.3% of their electricity generation. The gas is also important for Germany's manufacturing, and with the winter months coming, it's worth noting that gas is used to keep roughly half of Germany's 41.5 million homes warm. But it's not just gas, 34% of their crude oil comes from Russia, and 53% of their hard coal. Now recently, Russia's Gazprom said they will not be reopening Nord Stream 1. This very important pipeline was originally closed for maintenance, and is being kept closed because of a leak. I'm sure it has nothing to do with Europe's support for Ukraine or the recent oil price caps announced by the G7. Regardless, Germany is releasing a $65 billion relief package to help with these soaring energy costs. To add insult to injury, prior to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Germany has very foolishly been moving away from nuclear energy, closing six of their remaining nuclear plants back in January. This is ostensibly for climate reasons, but nuclear actually has insanely low carbon emissions. But in light of the energy crisis, Germany will be keeping two nuclear plants available as backup. They have also been compensating for the lost gas by increased coal burning. That's right, coal, you know, the thing that's insanely bad for the environment. Needless to say, Germany is in a very tough spot energy-wise, and unfortunately, they are not alone.